Anybody that knows me knows that I love a good western. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly is one of my favorite films, but unfortunately, good western games are really hard to come by. After you've played 2005's Gun and Rockstar's masterpiece Red Dead Redemption, where do you go from there? I can happily say that I have an answer to that question, and it's Call of Juarez, Gunslinger. Developed by Techland and published by Ubisoft in 2013 for Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Microsoft Windows, it's the fourth game in the Call of Juarez series, which has had somewhat of a rocky history with its previous entries, but this game is absolutely a return to form. Dust off your spurs and get on your cowboy hats, because you're in for a wild ride. If you liked Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon's hilarious self-aware presentation, you'll have a familiar feeling with Call of Juarez Gunslinger. I'm pretty torn on the visuals for this game. For coming in in 2013, the graphics really aren't all that good, but it uses this comic book cell shaded art style similar to Borderlands, so it still works pretty well and is visually appealing for the most part. There's a lot of unexpected detail with certain things too, like the way the water reflects the environment. Honestly, there's not really much to say about it visually. If you like the art style, then you'll like the visuals, but it's down to personal preference. The music in Gunslinger is a highlight. It's exactly what you'd expect from a cheesy western. Lots of acoustic guitar, rattling percussion, and muted brass make up the soundtrack. There's constant voiceover from the main characters, which works really well the way the game is presented, even if the narrative is written to sound as stereotypically Wild West as possible. The voice acting is really good across the board. John Saigon returns to the cast after his roles in the two previous Call of Juarez games. And there's some familiar voices in the cast as well, such as Paul Eading, the actor behind Colonel Campbell from Metal Gear Solid and Max Tennyson from the Ben 10 TV show, a childhood favorite of mine. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. The sound effects, on the other hand, are a bit of a mixed bag. Some of the reloading and shooting sounds are fine, while others honestly feel out of place. Beginning in 1910, the player character is a badass bounty hunter named Silas Greaves. The first moments of the story have him walking into a bar where he is recognized by some local patrons, and he agrees to swap his tales of danger and excitement in exchange for free drinks. The gameplay itself is set in flashbacks as Silas recounts his stories, which are sort of alternate history, playing parallel to real historical people and events. However, the patrons become more and more incredulous to his tales as they become more and more outrageous, like taking credit for killing several famous outlaws like Butch Cassidy and Newman Haynes Clanton. Their disbelief turns to annoyance by the end of the story, and there's a really cool twist near the end. This method of presentation is very unique and seriously well done. It reminds me of Telltale's Tales from the Borderlands as the protagonists were recounting their story to the masked stranger through flashbacks. And there's even some moments where the bar patrons will point out inconsistencies or call Silas out on his bullshit, and then the game will sort of rewind for a second as he backsteps and corrects himself. Were you attacked by Apaches? W what happened to the cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's cowboys attacked me Apache style. The story itself is classic western revenge redemption stuff, and it's fine if not a little overplayed. But the comedy and entertainment value found in the way the story is presented make up for it tenfold. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Time oh, alright, Jesus, we get it. The only problem is that this game is criminally short only about four to six hours long depending on what difficulty you're on and how often you die. It's a damn shame. There's really not too much to say about the game's optimization. The Chrome 5 engine works fine. It loads fast, it runs on max settings at a smooth FPS, and there's plenty of graphics options to get it playing stable on lower end machines. What I will say is that the game is under four gigabytes, which made for a very quick install, and I'm a big fan of that. Par for the course on this one. Call of Juarez Gunslinger is exactly what you'd expect from a first-person shooter, but with just enough extra elements sprinkled on top to make it unique and interesting, and helps it from becoming too repetitive. For instance, as you kill bad guys, you'll build up a sort of focus meter called Concentration, and when used, it slows down time and highlights enemies for a badass multi-kill. Or 
Or occasionally, you'll do a Call of Duty-style slow-motion breach where you'll clear out a room of baddies in the blink of an eye. Move over, Jesse McCree. I would first need to dispatch his cadre of hired killers. There's hit-scanning enemies, and you've got regenerating health, so you'll spend a fair bit of time hiding and letting yourself recover. But I don't really see how else it could have been done given the setting. You move pretty quick, reload fast, and there's not really any recoil, so if you're quick with the controls, you'll be a force to be reckoned with. Pick from single or double revolvers, repeating rifles, and shotguns to make your way through levels, and pull off headshots and long shots to gain bonus points, which can be used to unlock special skills for the three weapon types. Some aspects of the controls don't work all that well, like the few platforming sections. They're hot garbage. Luckily, the checkpoints are pretty forgiving. At the end of most levels as a mini-boss, and while I appreciate that they switch up the gameplay, these fights can sometimes be confusing, counterintuitive, and frustrating. There's also a dueling mechanic, where you'll be in a quick-draw showdown, and while they're cool as hell in concept, the execution is very sloppy. The controls seem really simple, but I still found myself not really knowing what I was doing. It needed to be clearer with the rules of these duels, and I could see a lot of potential frustration in failing over and over again not knowing what you're doing wrong. Luckily, they only happen a handful of times through the game. Call of Juarez Gunslinger is exactly what a video game should be. Fun, with a capital goddamn F. And as someone who gets frustrated with online competitive games pretty easily, this game was an amazing breath of fresh air and very well welcomed change of pace. If you like a cheesy western and first person shooting, this game is a must play. And it's not even that big of a time investment due to the game's relatively short length. In closing, do yourself a favor and go bomb through this game in a weekend. Just don't expect perfection, simply expect to have a hell of a lot of fun. I killed him in a fair fight. I give Call of Juarez Gunslinger an 8 out of 10.